Material handling units are used to move material from one location to another. One example would be having the material distributed from the main conveyor belt to its respective sub-conveyor belts. At the start of the main conveyor belt, the barcode scanner reads the barcode of the package in order for the controller to trigger the actuator, which segregates the packages to their respective sub-conveyor. The stack lights at the sub-conveyors will indicate the amount of the packages. Green indicates normal operation, yellow warns that the subconveyor is becoming full, and red indicates that it is full and the operator may need to intervene. The key components are the Allen Bradley Micro 850 controller, device net plug-in, high-speed counter plug-in, PowerFlex 523 AC drive, compact block LDXIO, control tower stack lights, barcode scanner, and PanelView 800 graphic terminal. The main conveyor belt is driven by the PowerFlex 523AC drive, which provides variable conveyor speed depending on the overall system status. PanelView 800 is connected to Micro 850 controller over Ethernet IP to provide diagnostics and supervisory control for the maintenance operations. The incoming package sensor and the encoder feedback are wired to the Micro 800 high-speed counter plug-in. Using the plug-in's touch probe position registration and velocity measurement function, the Micro 850 controller easily calculates the exact position of the package as it travels down the main conveyor. The barcode scanner scans the package's barcode and determines which sub-conveyor to distribute the package. When the package approaches the correct position, the actuator, which is wired to the compact block LDX-IO, pushes the package to the correct sub-conveyor. Additionally, sub-conveyors have sensors to detect the amount of packages and the stack light gives visual status. The first sub-conveyor shows a scenario where the stack light gradually turns from green to yellow and to red as the packages on the belt get congested. This is a signal to the rest of the system and to the operator that the affected belt should be cleared immediately in order to continue the distribution process. Due to the distributed nature of this material handling application, the key factor is device net connectivity. One key feature of DeviceNet Network is its trunkline topology which matches the layout of conveyor applications which reduces wiring and lowers installation costs. Another advantage is that network diagnostics are available to aid in lowering startup time, maintenance, and downtime.